台上的 Sophia 嗓音温柔，却是如此掷地有声。秉持着音乐不只是音乐的信念，早期多用萨米族语创作，逐渐闯出名号后，开始加入瑞典文和英文的创作，希望让更多人理解那些一字一句背后的深层意涵和族群经历。The racism is the worst because it leads to oppression. It it leads to not seeing us as people, not recognizing our rights. And therefore, it also leads to destroying the land and water that everybody needs. We all depend on it. But the, ra the structural racism from from the government towards indigenous people, Sami people, that's the worst. The censoring. Um, and trying to get rid of us, trying making us disappear, so that we are no problem. They all even said in TV, the ministers, if they only were normal people, some people, we shouldn't have this problem. And that's racism. But uh, that's the worst. We, sometimes we are not even considered to be a real people, so therefore there cannot be racism towards us. So everything is just, you know, fucked up. But that's the worst, because with, with the racism, there is no respect. The small size of Sophia, in the stage, the strength of her huge energy, and the distinctive personal character, is difficult to ignore. Even if you can't understand Sami Zuyu, 也能从他的歌声中感受到他所来自的那片广袤大地，千百年来孕育着萨米族人，现在却一再遭受现代化、资本化的开发、侵扰、威胁，以及统治政权的否认。I saw all these places I learned to call home, where we put our heads to sleep, where we take our water, where we let the reindeer eat. But not too many winters ahead, not too many summers. The earth needs to re, uh, be being reborn. You can't be, you can never empty it all, never take more than what you need. So that it will keep on for the next generations and the next generations, just like our ancestors kept it for our privilege to use it and not abuse it. This is ours. Welcome. Sitting there in the courtroom, listening to the lawyers of Swedish government telling us all, we're sitting there with our, with our clothes, with our Sami clothing. We're sitting there. My grandmother was from there, and probably seven grandmothers before, before me. And they are telling to our faces, "You don't exist. You haven't been in this area historically. Your rangers are not yours." And that was like, we just, how can this? Man said something like this, this, and the worst. How can he be speaking for the Swedish government? How can Sweden be known as the most democratic country of the world and still oppressing us until this very day, while we are still here? Using music to make a loud statement, he also reminds us. 种族歧视是错误政策的根源。Sophia 在瑞典流行乐坛广为人知，却不愿意为了迎合市场口味而放弃表态，因为在成为歌手之前，她的身份就一直是萨米族。One concert in Europe somewhere, I knew a minister of Sweden was in the audience, so I took the chance to criticize what the audience is, what the government is doing in front of the audience, so that She, um, so she got my point of view, because I don't think she hears it a lot. Um, so I chose to speak about what she had just been saying in the TV, that she sees that the Sami livelihood is to disappear, and instead of that, we should have mining industries. That's what she was saying in Swedish media just before. So I criticized her for that. Not her personally, but the government. And after the show, I was criticized by the people who have arranged uh, the concert. So of course, something. Sometimes they are saying, 
You're not here to be political, to be radical or controversial. You're just here to sing. But, you know, I have a platform. I have a voice. And I am indigenous. I need my rights. How can I not mention it? And if, if it is radical or, or controversial saying that indigenous people should have our rights, then that says more about the dominating world than about me being radical, right? That is like obvious. If I say we need clean water, we need clean air, that is not controversial. That's just true. Thank you.